No, actually, I wasn't too nervous. I mean, you're always so uh, excited when you're uh, when you're going out to a match, but you know, I I just thought I'm playing a Grand Slam final. I have nothing to lose. I just need to go out there and try to do my best, and that's what I did. And you know, Kim just played a, a great match. She she really showed that she's playing great tennis, and I'm happy to have her back. But of course, I'd like to have taken the next step and have won this uh, this match. But I mean, she played better than me today, and that's why she won. Carolyn, it's been a great, great year for you. At 19 years old, you've been in seven finals. Um, you know, this has been a great journey for you here, your first Grand Slam final. And I don't imagine you could pro script a better, better theater to be involved in than being out there with Kim. So, while it, while it's a bitter pill to swallow to lose, do you feel pretty good right now? I mean, about the way that. The yeah, I mean, I, I obviously I don't like losing, and uh, I'm a competitor and I love winning. But I think I've had uh, some great weeks here, and I mean, I, I was in the finals of a Grand Slam. I'm only 19 years old, like you're saying, and I mean, uh, my ranking will go up again. And I'm just happy the way I'm playing and the way I've been progressing so far. And I feel like I, yeah, I'm playing good tennis. How can you explain your your nerves at your age? Because I mean, it's very impressive. And besides the fact, was it easy? Was it easier on your nerves because you pay, played Kim and you know her a little bit, and, and obviously everybody likes her? And um, I don't know. You know, when you think about it, it's a Grand Slam final, and <laughs> of course you're going to be a little bit nervous because this is what you've been dreaming about, winning a Grand Slam. But, but actually, I was surprised myself that I was more nervous, and I just think that the the thing that I was just uh, thinking about one point at a time, one ball at a time, and I was really focused on what I really wanted to do out there and I think that really helped me and I think that helped me through the whole tournament. Once the match was over and you know, Kim came over and you were speaking and, and then obviously uh, you obviously have wonderful things to say about each other during the, 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 the uh, award ceremony. Just you know, standing up there and you know, maybe now your game faces off a little bit during the award ceremony, what was going through your mind at that point? I mean, there was nothing I could do anymore. I lost the last point and I lost the match. She just played better than me. There was, uh, I really did my best. I tried my hardest and I've had a great two weeks and I think it's just about enjoying the moment. Uh, enjoy, I mean, not that you lost, but enjoy that you were in the finals and, and just uh, be happy about that because, I mean, if, if I started saying, oh, I should have won, I should have done this and that, I think that would be kind of a sin, you know, <laughs> because I've really done great, and I, I think I should be proud of what I've achieved. Can you imagine what it would be like to, to not play for two and a half years, to only play three tournaments back? I mean, as, as someone who's been training straight for as long as you have, can you imagine how hard it would be to take that much time off and to come back quickly like this? You know, I'm very impressed by the way that Kim came back. She. I thought it, would gonna, it was going to take her a few tournaments to really get into the rhythm. I mean, it's different to practice and to play matches, and and I was really, uh, really impressed by by the way she was playing. And I, I saw it already in Cincinnati that she was uh, she was in really great shape. And and I think that she's just going out there. She's enjoying it. She doesn't have any pressure because she already achieved what she wanted to. She has a she has the family. She has everything. So she's playing because she thinks it's fun and because she likes it. So I think that maybe even she's a better player now than she was before. Um, it's tough for me to say because I didn't play her before, but you know, I, I can imagine that she, I mean, <laughs> she just won a Grand Slam. It's the third tournament back. What, what more can I say? Uh, actually, I didn't think too much about the score. I was just focused a lot about uh, just playing one point at a time. But, you know, the the thing was I, I couldn't keep my serve in the end of the first set, and that just uh, caused me trouble, and she was right there, and she started serving well. And, and yeah, and that's why, why I lost the first set. No, it, it wasn't about my nerves. I just, uh, you know, I wanted to put it just a little bit better and put it a little bit more in the corners, and, and that just, uh, yeah, didn't go in. Yeah, Caroline, at the beginning of the first set, was it a little bit of a feeling out process for you, at least for the first two games that you dropped to her, and then you won four straight games? So was it kind of feeling out to try to get her to <coughs> figure what her game is? Um. Yeah, the first couple of games I wanted to get into the match. I wanted to just know what I'm up against. And um, 
I fast found out that <laughs> I'm up against a really strong player that doesn't give away any free points, and I really had to fight for it. And uh, I mean, she she played she played really well. She played aggressive. She uh, I mean, yeah, she she's playing really well.